day without helping the double amputee. William Romero laid on the pavement after falling out of his wheelchair trying to board a bus in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. This video, taken by a neighbor Saturday afternoon, shows the driver of the MTA B-24 bus open his door for William. But as William falls and struggles to get back in his chair, the driver closes his door and pulls away. You see a man get out of his white truck and try to get the bus driver's attention, but it doesn't work. William had both legs amputated 10 years ago after a number of health issues. He requires life-saving dialysis treatment at Elmhurst Hospital three days a week. His only way of getting there, the B-24 bus. The MTA says the bus operator has been taken out of service pending disciplinary action. As for William, he tells me that he doesn't want the driver to lose his job, but rather to learn from this experience. And next time, treat him like a human. Hmm. Okay, so the clip y'all just watched. Um, who's at fault here? And some of y'all not familiar with policies, and this was right, and it's it's a lot. So let's let's break it down. So I had to watch the video a couple times because you know you come in, how you see the video, you wanna first okay, let's start with the obvious. You say, hey, the bus driver seen him fall, why he didn't get out and help him? Uh, first reason, I'm assuming they policy bus driver can't get off the bus. Um, now some people might say, oh, that's cruel. He didn't help him up. And then you even don't know if the bus driver was, I think it was a guy though. But from, until you investigate about, I'm more like you think it was a guy. And he probably could have helped him up. And then he probably had every good intentions of uh, helping him up. And so like, where I'm at in Michigan or whatnot, it's just, there's actually around the United States. The, uh, by law, they, everything is required to be um, handicapped accessible, especially on bus stops. And so usually the curves will go flush into the street and they had this like orange mat with the dots on it. So if you're in a wheelchair, you can stop yourself. But mine, he in a wheelchair, he don't have the legs. So that's going to be, but you know, they got the little brakes on the side. And this guy seems to be going through a lot. He's a uh, double amputee um, on dialysis. So, yeah, he's been, he been through some shit. Let's just keep it as that. And so I don't know if you know how the, um, the buses operate. They got, like, what they call, like, a kneeling ramp. Like, the bus got, like, hydraulics on it. And with the dude, the bus will pull up to the curve and let out the ramp. And so the guy can roll himself up onto the bus. Um, the problem starts, it's not with the bus driver, and I will point this out to you right now. Even if the bus driver, at this certain situation, the bus driver couldn't help him, and it's not the bus driver's fault. Like, everybody wanted to criticize the bus driver, tell some I'm reading the comments, tell some he need to be fired. See, this was the problem. The city worker was parked right there in the bus lane, and that was stopping the bus driver from pulling up, pulling out the hydraulic ramp so the guy could actually get on the bus. And it seemed like the the city worker get out all irate. He mad because he seen the guy fall off the curb. But the whole reason that happened is because this guy right here caused all that to happen. So he jumped out like, oh, he mad. The bus driver didn't help him, but it's 100% your fault that this happened. Now, secondary, I put um poor judgment on the guy. Thinking, you know, that's, man, that's, that ain't one of them small curves. That curve a good four inches. So that's a nice little drop. Knowing, dude. You know, people say all type of BS in the, in the comments. The bus driver should be fired. I think he was suspended. But um, this is bit bad all the way around. But suspending the bus driver, I mean, I think they should have had a conversation about it. Like, you know, brought up. Like, it, it's crazy how a dude is so pissed. He's banging on the bus to stop the bus driver, all this. But I'm like, dog, you're the reason he's on the ground. Now, I did go through the comments, and somebody said the guy uh, um, that I got the truck did help him get back in his chair and help him get back up. So, you know, that's cool right there. Okay, that's awesome. 
But you're the one, you're the reason why this happened. I don't know if you're checking out this video. I mean, look, just leave something in the comments. Give me your opinion on it. That's my breakdown on it. Look, I'm a comedian. Look, I'm not a professional commentator or whatever as analyst. None of that. I'm just a person with an opinion just like you in the comments. It's just my point of view. Don't mean I'm right. Don't mean I'm wrong. I was just some stuff I observed and I pointed out. Thanks.